Hello everyone and welcome back to StudyTube. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is the meaning of ratio, why we are going and why we need to understand the term accounting ratios and different type of ratios and what are the different types that we need to understand. So let's take first understand the meaning of ratio. Ratio can be defined as the relationship. Now relationship between one and two arithmetical variables or it can be defined as the value of one variable in terms of other variable but why we need to understand this ratio in accountancy suppose there are two companies and the manager of company ABC quotes a profit of 1 lakh and the manager of other company XYZ quotes a profit of 1 lakh 50 thousand now looking at this situation I might think that XYZ is comparatively better as compared to ABC because its profit is higher but I cannot ignore other factors I cannot ignore the capital investment I cannot ignore the debt structure I cannot ignore the creditors and debtors payment so there are various other factors also which help us in comparing two firms so the profit cannot be the sole discretion in comparing two firms now why we need to understand the ratio so the first is the analysis of financial statement now what it means analysis of financial statement it tells us it helps the bankers it helps the creditors it helps the debtors the shareholders in getting the knowledge about the profitability as well as the financial strength health of the business the second is the simplification and easy to understand form now accounting ratios are basically expressed in the terms of one variable in the terms of other variables so this simplifies and this summarizes a long accounting data or a large accounting data into simple times or percentage form and which helps us in evaluating the cause and effect relationship the other is the comparative study now this is one of the main advantage of understanding the ratios it helps us in comparing the profitability the financial position our assets our ratios the current year figures with the previous year figures and comparing these data our financial strength the profitability with other firms also now the other is ideal ratio versus actual ratio this helps us in finding the variance by comparing the standard and the actual ratio the other comes the trend which helps us in evaluating the company's past performance planning and forecasting because we can set standards we can do planning and it also helps in loopholes identification now loophole identification as different ratios tells us about different financial ability or financial health of a company so the helps in identifying that particular loophole which is not performing good so these were some of the advantages of ratios now let's understand the different types of ratios so first here you can see the picture of water that is the liquidity ratio the s stands for solvency ratio the man doing the activity of running is telling about the activity ratio and the last one is the profitability ratio so let's first discuss what is liquidity ratio and how it is beneficial and what are its advantages so liquidity ratio tells us that how easily an asset can be converted into cash with no loss that is how asset can be converted into cash within a short period of time so it tells us about the short term financial position that is the company's ability to meet short term liabilities that is the current liabilities of the company now why it is beneficial and why it is important because the creditors or trade tables whom we are doing transactions or if we are doing transaction with some new party or if we are approaching bank for a loan so they need to know that how prompt will be payment made to them so they need to know that what are 
payment making ability when it is concerned about the short term now liquidity ratio is further classified into two the first one is the current ratio and the second is the quick ratio or liquid ratio now comes s s for solvency ratio now this solvency ratio tells us about the ability now here you see a clock but clock does not have that needle so this means a clock is telling us about the ability of a firm to pay the long term liabilities which are not going to mature today not tomorrow these are long term liabilities so the firm's ability to pay long term liabilities when they are going to mature and their interest cost which are to be paid regularly so it tells us about the long term solvency position it also tells us about the composition of the internal funds and the external funds now internal funds is the promoters you can see the proprietor contribution on the initial investment in external can be defined as the borrowings in an investment now this solvency ratio is further classified or divided into four first debt to equity ratio second total assets to debt ratio third is proprietary ratio and the fourth and the last one is the interest coverage ratio now comes the third category that is the activity ratio the other name for the activity is the turnover ratio now this ratio tells us the firm's ability or how effectively they are using their resources why they are using their resources to generate revenue so the other name for this ratio can be revenue from operations now what are the different types of activity or turnover ratio it is inventory receivable turnover payable turnover that is the creditors turnover ratio and the fourth is working capital turnover ratio so activity or turnover ratio tells us revenue from operations now the fourth and the last one is the profitability ratio now everyone and each of us knows that what is the main aim of doing business the main aim is to earn profit and this profitability ratio helps us to know and compare the profitability of a company it tells us the increase and decrease in the profit and the reason for that now profitability ratio are of five types gross profit ratio operating ratio the third one is the operating profit ratio the fourth is net profit ratio and the fifth is roi that is return on investment so are these only ratios no there are more ratios that we will also discuss so these are some commonly used ratios that we can see so i hope that this this introduction helps you thank you